time. Every time. <laughs> Told you, man. It's okay, we got both of us in here, so if one of us passes out, we got the other to... The other one has seconds to warn somebody. I thought it was just like cold, cold puffs. There's a little oil in there. Classic Chevy emblem. Clean! Look at this Chevy. This is the gloss Chevy emblem, special edition. Only Robbie Ferreira. Some others may have it, but what do you got to say for that? Yo, do you know what this is? This was the Ross Wemp dealer badge. Like, look, my keys still say Chevrolet Oldsmobile. That was their address. And then it says Ross Wem Chevrolet. Like this is from like the dealership when the guy bought it, which is kind of <laughs> sick. And this was a Chevy thing that said Ross Wemp across it. Oh, for real? So it was a sticker. Yeah, well it was like a, it was like an old fashioned logo. So today, today we're gonna continue putting lipstick on this old pig till the day that we get the whole truck kind of cleaned up. We ain't putting lipstick on it. This is the booty. Mm -hmm. We're putting new <laughs> panties on it. <laughs> but today we're gonna keep going. We have a couple more parts that we got from LMC Truck. I told you guys before that they just have, their website's just basically a catalog of old trucks. Square bodies, blazers, literally any old truck. If you're into Fords, you can get your Ford on there too. That's where we got like our full front end. And then we got a couple more mods that are going on this thing today, which after we did the front end and seeing it in person, I can tell you right away that we're gonna have the same emotions about the booty. It's gonna look too fresh for the of the rest of the truck, but it'll all tie itself back in one day. This one actually might get hate. A lot of people are gonna want us to put a roll pan on there, and we're not putting a roll pan. And then oh, like 70% of people- Is that thing where like you take the bumper right off and just have the metal? Yeah. Oh yeah, actually that's what I wanna do with my dad's pickup. Yeah. I keep telling him we gotta get rid of the rear bumper and we gotta put the plate. Put the roll pan, yeah. Like 70% of people just dip, because they're like, oh, you're not doing a roll pan? Ah. It is way sexier though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with them on that one, because that is a it sexy is. mod. We already got the chrome, we got the chrome. We go and chrome. This is no weight reduction with this at all. That's weight addition, if anything. Probably weight addition. But look how fresh Damn, that is. Damn, dude. That is a fresh piece of booty. Dude, this thing on the table looks huge. This part looks a little bit deeper. This one's basically just flat. This probably tucks underneath. I think so. Which would be cool. So this came with new little, little domey lights, because these ones Weird, actually. They're like squares covered in snow. <laughs> squares covered in snow. This truck had like a, a vibe of before. Black and gray and death, really. I'm curious to see how this will look. I've always wanted to do the chrome front end and put the chrome bumper on and just have it look like a classic truck. This is the LMC 83 to 90 three or something bumper. It's supposed to be for a lot of years. So this one has like the little tow slots if you want to tow something with it. It has a little light hole. It's like, got like a good reading. What is it for? 3,500. Really? Pounds, that's not bad. You could easily tug like a small fiberglass boat or some Oh yeah, ATV or something. Toys yeah. Around <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, you want to get this thing off the ground or what's your plan here? No, no, no. we might not even need to. But why would you get off the ground for it? I don't know, to ease our spines so we don't get <laughs> scoliosis. <laughs> Thing. Nice. The other one's a beast. That also probably increases the tow rating though, because look at this like little tow section right here. Yeah. It's like this big. That one's already bigger. Mm. This does say something for how that roll pan would look though. Like don't get me wrong, the roll pans look super freaking cool. Sexy. They're super sexy. <laughs> look at my my little muffler tip. Nice. That's high school Robbie right there. I bought the Canadian tire special. Screwed it on the end of my little my little custom exhaust. It actually held up pretty nice though. Yeah. This little C channel runs right off the frame over to here and has two holes. And then please tell me the back of this looks similar yeah, to the, the one. It's the same. It literally should just be basically like, it should just be a slide and plug and play yeah. bumper. We're hitting your tip. That's okay, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna need an exhaust anyway. It so gives like, you an idea right now. She's gonna look real nice. We're still hitting on the f***ing muffler. That's not the luck I'm going for. No, well how, how does it look even if we shove it all the way up? Let's push it. That's all you get. I don't know if I'm sold on it. I feel like it's a no from me. Yeah. This feels like a like a 1500 size bumper, you know? I don't like the fit, man. 
No. Them. Not that they're going for fitment. I don't know what they're going for, but like product itself though, like this bumper is insanely nice. Dude, I'm the king of stopping before it's too late. Yeah. We just we just halt with this. It's just not a. It's not it's not our vibe to get it to line up with the holes properly. It actually sits like two inches farther away, and then you have like this weird spacing. It might be your thing. Your thing. Someone's thing. Not our thing. You know. And I, you know what though? I think that's the only chromie on the website. So it oh, might. Okay. We might end up with a roll pan, like everybody likes, because we ain't putting that black thing back on. <laughs> that is ugly. And the best part is we chop the <laughs> we had to chop the exhaust to find out it's. I know. <laughs> Not That's our okay. style. Do we install our other little things or do yeah, we just- Yeah, I feel like we should put the mirrors on just to give us some like, hype today, you know? Mm. Mm. Beautiful. How little it is compared to this one when you look at your mirror. Oh my god. It looks way sleeker for sure than this honker. We got this freaking hoopty versus this sleek little dude. Not to mention we also got all brand new plastics. Mirror is brand new, super minty. This is just one of those like little things that nobody really cares. It's not, it's not exciting, it's not a big thing. Um, our main thing today was gonna be the bumper. But it is, it's like, just the little things that when the truck's done, we'll be so much more stoked that the overall look. Yeah. When this thing's slammed with a V8 in it, little mirrors are gonna make the difference. I'm very pleased with these little guys. So are we just saying today was just like a huge busty? Is that what happened? Wait, when is it not a bust? <laughs> I feel like it's like a, we'll do a couple mods, see how it goes, clean up the shop. Kind of day. Definitely an unfortunate day. Can we at least take this thing outside and look at the freaking mirrors? Yeah, we're gonna go for a rip and do some donies. Dude, we don't, you can't, no donies. Yeah, we're doing donies. We have concluded that uh, today's, today's video is about installing mirrors <laughs> on an S10. Yeah. Dude, if only this thing had a welded diff or like just an LSD, I could, like I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm just doing a burnout. Like, let's go. Barely get out of the garage. <laughs> Bro, mirrors actually look fire. Yeah, Not yeah. gonna lie, once you can see this thing from outside, wow. Chris says sometimes your days it's a squash potato. Yeah. Or what, pumpkin. <laughs> squash pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, today was a squash pumpkin for sure. The truck looks unreal though, in this, as it's snowing yeah, right now. Badass, man. It does, mm, it actually does look really nice. Wow, you know what? <laughs> I might be able to get behind a roll fan here, boys. This is all right. This is all right. Chris is also bugging me because he really wants me to do donuts, but he doesn't understand how this thing just doesn't do donuts. The only way to do it? Yo, my G35 <laughs> was an open diff and we did donuts all day. Yeah, but it had <laughs> beans. This has no beans, bro. This goes nowhere. Yeah, dude, I just push the back like this and right. you step on it. Good luck. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right, it's not working. We did what we could. I think it's just because Robbie's weak. We on the throttle. You wanted to show them how good of a donut this thing does? Yeah. <laughs> I think we show them the other side. Barely get itself back in here. Watch this. Alright, sorry guys. I did my best to get him to pull some donuts, but we're gonna have to get that V8 in there before we're gonna be getting this thing sideways. <laughs> Cake with snow. I know. Once I you get a new rear end, it'll it'll be fun. I have way more faith in it than yeah. than that. It's the tires are like <laughs> these are literally hockey pucks. I think I I don't think I paid more than 100 bucks for all four. You know what? Today's a squash potato, squash pumpkin. What it was? It actually kind of works because we haven't had Frankie out here at all because I spilled brake fluid all over the floor over there and grease all over the floor over here and oil all over the floor over here. I didn't want to have her out here because I didn't want her getting any of it. So the fact that we only did 20 minutes of work today and we're done, I can actually come out here and like mop, get it ready so that she can come hang out with me while I'm working and not drive Courtney crazy all day. videoing you using a broom anyway. At least it's a nice, nice grandma broom. <laughs> you will appreciate the broom. Dude, imagine caring about your paint. <laughs> what a lifestyle. <laughs>